Welcome to Imperium Galactic Survival and welcome to a new day and off camera I've been working quite hard on building this base up created a garage for my hover vehicle and I think what I want to do guys is talk a bit about blueprints because what blueprints actually are are a way to get access to vehicles if you're not very good at building I'm going to admit that I'm not an expert you can select these different vehicles here according to the, your level obviously if you're the further up you go you the higher you go the the other advantage is that if, you, if i show you the tech tree here guys you can get access to these vehicles without actually kind of unlocking the necessary research technology which may seem a bit unfair but it's a, a useful way if, if you're like me I'm, I'm gonna be put my hand up guys and be completely honest I'm not a great fan of hovercraft so I prefer small vehicles and when I get to the small vehicle I will build one manually but what I do want to do and I was actually I, was thinking, I need to look at it in the here I think it's miscellaneous I need a small ammo box and box I need to unlock that as well because what I actually want to build is a uh, where is it? Let's get into here. I need a cargo container and a small ammo box. I'm just going to drop these on here. And the idea is, is what I want to do is kind of get out. Actually, I need some Gatling guns as well. How much iron have I got? Because there's no point in me making. Let's look at. It. I've got plenty of iron. Okay. If I can find the. That's it, Gatling guns. I want a couple of these because we're going to make some 15 millimeter bullets output. So we'll make a couple of those. And while that's building up, because the blueprint hovercraft that I've chosen is actually unarmed, and I'd like to kind of give it some weapons so that it can actually defend itself. And I think what we're going to do is come up here. I've kind of created this kind of resin platform. And if we press F2 and get up here, we'll just select the there. I mean, click here for spawn, and it's going to come here. And I think we're well. I think we'll just. Now the downside of this thing, vehicle is it can be quite tricky to get into and it's got these kind of bits on the front here so I think I'm gonna have to now I wanna if I sound a bit nervous guys it's because the patrol vessels over there actually I think what I might do is get into this and do this underground I think and of course we're gonna need to power up power on we have to put some fuel in it uh, I don't want to put too much fuel in straight away and of course we're going to take off and hopefully this is gonna, is actually going to go underground if it doesn't I'm going to look pretty stupid as I say it's not the most mobile of vehicles and um, manoeuvring underground with a hovercraft can be a bit tricky let's just go out here Let's go down. Okay, let's get back into first person. And we're just gonna back up a bit. Pull it back up. Oh, come on. I can't see. This is one of the downsides. Okay, this. You've got to judge the lift a bit, guys. It's gonna be quite annoying to do this. Okay. I might be stuck, okay. Let's get some height and press the so that we're actually level. Yeah, I'm not. Okay, let's. <sighs> See if we can get a, a better line. I, you need to come in really straight and true. And the patrol vessel's coming towards us, which is not good. Okay. Uh, 
I move forward a little bit. I said before. As I say, it can be tricky getting underground. But I think we're on the ground, and I think what I can do is actually power that off for the moment. I don't want to waste fuel. Now, working on this is going to be a little bit difficult. I think what we can do, actually, is if I can use the drone to do it. Um, what I want to do is take out, oops, I have to do some repairs after my, I mean it's difficult enough doing this on the surface but, okay I think that would be it and I think hopefully we can get a, come on, in, I want it preferably, okay let's get back, let's take out, oops, ha, just shoot me out, okay, little cargo box there, and of course in order to get guns we need an ammo box, and I think we need some kind of defence I think as well, so we got an ammo box in, and what we should be able to do is get some guns, get the Gatling guns, 200 rounds maybe we need so I don't really want to use up too much of my thing no oxygen ha huh, great actually what am I doing think done laterally you've got an oxygen station so don't consume your and I'm running out of food as well okay And I think we'll just probably need a little bit more food than that, so maybe we we'll... that's a hundred. Nah, I'll have some more of those. Okay, goes. I think I need to turn this round first. Okay, let's get in and see what I was saying about how hard it is to get into the cab which is no good if you are in in a panic mode okay we can put the power back on I think we'll give ourselves a little bit of lift hopefully we come here so maybe we can turn around a bit it's gonna be a bit back a bit Maybe I'm going to have to be a bit careful with the guns. Maybe we'll go down a little bit. Can't get too low. And of course I don't want to go up too high. So we're going to have to do like a 15 million point turn. And that's it. We're facing in the right direction. Okay. And right. And see if I can get these Gatling guns on the side. I want them kind of back a little bit in compared to. Okay, let's use the drone. Well, sometimes the drone is actually a little bit better. I want to put them kind of fairly. Okay, maybe I'll. No, good. Do they fit there? Because I, I want them, it makes it look a bit stocky, but it, if I put them there, it should mean I can turn them round and actually, okay. And we should have some more ammunition. that in there 15 I think there's 900 rounds I'm not exactly going to go to war so we'll be okay guys um, what I really want to do is get out and explore with this so okay we're just gonna jump in the cab P and 
devices. Yep, we've got the main here and manage. And of course we're gonna put that in. And what we should be able to do is go here. And we've got reload. Okay guys, here we go. Now we're gonna see if we can actually get out. Although strictly speaking, I should have checked to see if the patrol vessel was outside, but we'll take a chance, guys. That there is going to be a problem. Okay, I need to prop down a bit. Oh, great. Okay, let's, let's go level. Uh, it came in here. You came in this way. Okay, we're out. Where is the patrol vessel? Hopefully the patrol vessel would have cleared off. So I think we're going to go and get some... Patrol vessel's over there, that's okay. Okay, let's get... Let's get some height so I can actually see what I'm doing. That's better. And of course, what you can do is collect rocks and stuff. But what I do want to do is actually get over here and get some more, collect some oxygen. Let's get a bit more height. Don't want to be too close to the. Stop. Okay. We're on top of the cockpit. So I'll just get back into first person. Of course, we're gonna grab some more oxygen just to keep everything nice and topped up. And we got that there. This is actually run out, so but there's another couple in there. Actually, let's just check the. How are you doing? Yeah, getting a bit low as well. So we'll put two more of those in there. And this is the problem now, guys, that hopefully... Ah, God. Oh, great. I can't get back here to my hovercraft. Hmm, not good. And what I'm going to do is get some height. So we want to keep an eye out for the. And one thing you can, one thing you can do is actually. Whoops. Oh. This is the advantage guys, is you can hover over the top of these guys and actually go out and travel a bit. And what I want to do is kind of explore the planet a little bit in this part. anything that goes without saying probably my guns are in the wrong place actually what we can do is get over here and I think maybe what we can do is just get here if we stop about here back to first person and just deploy the drone this is another advantage once you've got the hovercraft what you can do is Oops, nope. You can actually collect resources this way, like this. 
obviously you can't collect plants. But you can certainly gather resources this way. Okay. Just cancel the drone. Get back into Ah, uh, we don't want to go over there. I'm not ready to fight drones. I, I'll save that for when I've got a small vehicle. This is just purely exploration. See if we can find the admin building. Let's just go over that way. Let's just go back to... So I've got resources here, haven't I? I've got copper over there. We've got iron over there, so... If we kind of curve around this way. Actually, what we could do is go and. Oh, no, the patrol ship's over there. Great. Ah, idiots. I don't really want to get close to the patrol ship. That would blow me out of the. off the surface of the place. Actually, what we could do is let's go exploring this way. We found a research site. Well, there's a drone there. I don't know if I can hit it with this cannon drone, so we're going to have to be very, very careful. more damage than I thought and I think they've probably taken out one of my okay just wait for it to stop now I oh I've got radiation okay that and I've fallen off my ah, great okay I'm suffering from ex radiation and I've taken damage okay let's just has this place actually got anywhere where I can land that's got a, a repair platform? I've got hooked up on the base. Okay. I mean, I'd love to explore this, but I press the shift. But sometimes maneuvering around these bases can be a real pain in the neck. Okay, let's. Trying to find. Oops! Come on. Maybe we can. We land just inside here. I'm just gonna land, guys, so I can get you back in easier. And a medical care. Okay, let's. In here, get back into first person. Why is this actually telling me that I've got been affected by radiation when I'm actually okay? Let's grab that. I'm not going to say no to any water or anything like that. <sighs> grab a bit of first aid. There's some O2 here as well. Pop up on that. Not sure what that did. Nothing there, so we've, we've got all the thing in these tanks. Let's see if there's anything in here. Yep, we're certainly going to need that. Uh, 200 food. 
that would be quite nice actually. I think we'll top up on that. Of course we're going to have to dash out here. That's what we can grab here. Before the radiation affects us. I think we're in radioactive mist actually. Yeah, radioactive fog. Great. Complete with thunder and lightning. Okay. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, come on, come on, play the game. Parish storage systems. It's not actually giving us any damage at the moment, which is okay. Okay, let's see what we've got. Certainly going to take food. Anything else in here? We've got some more. Grab this. I mean, this is so like there's a new drone coming in, which could be a bit of a problem. I think we might have to take him out. Oops, we obviously. Okay, let's see if I filled everything up here. Okay, well, we can drop the, the wood. We don't really want the wood. We'll put the, that there. And that there as well. Wow. Take that. That could be useful. Uh, don't really need that. Anything else here? We've got everything else around here. Just the one that I missed. I mean, looting can be a little bit tedious, guys. So, so I'm going to take the Sathium ingot. I think we've checked out here. Let's see if we can get over there. Second time I've got into here. There's no drone. Okay, let's get back in the my slightly beat up ship. And I'm just gonna. I think we need to get back to base. I've already got kitted up, and I say being in the middle of a radiation storm isn't probably the best thing to be in. And. Um, we haven't actually taken any damage, so I think our suit protected us from it. I mean, there's iron over there, but I can't really stand on top. <laughs> uh, these things are sent to try. Wow. And the trouble is I can't see the patrol ship in here, so... We're just gonna have to kind of come round here. Some bug uglies around here. What I need is some kind of shield just on top. Hey, okay, let's just get this in here. Let's just move up so I can see a little bit. I'm just going to, yeah, that's better. I've got a better angle now. Just make sure I get down to about one meter in hover height. And we're just going to move forward, get a bit lower, down to half meter. You can't get too low. Okay, we're now actually in. Okay, back to first person. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, no. Let's get a bit of height. I think it's that rock there that's causing the problem. Okay, and of course we're going to do the 15 point turn, so it's actually... And I think that would be it, guys. Actually, let's move it back so that nothing can shoot through. And of course, 
I forgot completely about the fact I had a cargo box. Okay. We'll power off. It's just confused. Wow. I've actually got radiation underground. Okay. That's going to be a hazard. That could be a problem. Let's see, let's see what the damage was. I think these guns are actually in the wrong place. I mean, they did their job, but they really should have been a bit further forward. I should have put them about there, actually. Okay. Never mind. Let's come here. Let's just have a quick look at my... Um, So I need to manage my oxygen. Oh, so I can't get 100% capacity. Okay. And what I've also got up here is a cargo box. So we can put that in there. So we've got plenty of oxygen. Walkways and railings, oh, we don't need that in the constructor. Truss blocks, I don't know where that came from. We've got food, we've got some ammunition. Estrium, open wounds, that's got a perish time on it, so it needs to go into that. Okay. Actually, let's do it the quick way, guys. Devices, large constructor, access. Stone dust, promethium, cobalt, sathium oil, stream. That can go in, that can go in, that can go in, that can go in. Magnesium powder, raw plastic. Didn't get that much, I can put that in as well. That in. And the nutrient solution can go in the, the cargo box. Oh, something to put that. is a drill charge that can go in there as well I didn't notice that I thought it was a power cell and this can all go in the fridge I think I might need to upgrade the fridge I think I'll leave the, the corn can, do, can go a bit mouldy actually I think what I can do if I <laughs> It's quite difficult actually uh, commentating when you've got a lightning storm going on in the background. Okay. That's a food processor, what am I on about? Pay attention, pay attention. Where's my large constructor? I'll just go in here. Now, have I got any sport, other spoiled food? See, I had some spoiled food, so I made some extra biofuel. And I actually got some. Miss that as well, so that can go in. And I think what I need to do, load, reload that, upgrade, rotate, repair. I think we're going to have to go and give our ship a little bit of TLC. sometimes it's quite difficult to actually see and most of the damage was actually on here so oh no they thought it damaged our guns so that gun took a bit of damage on that side anything else so all the damage was on this side so we'll just make sure everything is okay here I mean I will be planning on Kind of, I would like to. I think I'd like to move this actually. Oops. I think I'd like to move these up a bit. I don't think it worked quite too well on them. Okay. And these are angled. That's got an angle there. If I take that off. 
and that's kind of opened this up. And if I take this bit off here, and hopefully, oops. And just put the Gatling gun, so we've got loads of oxygen here. And I think what we'll do is try and drop the Gatling guns virtually smacking on the center line where they should have been in the first place like that. I mean it may give me a problem actually getting out and turning round but I think that will make them more effective actually to be honest. Could probably do with some blocks or something to protect them but as I say, I'm not going to stay with this hovercraft very long and I think the other thing I want to do is while I'm thinking about it is probably take off. I can't reach it okay. So I'm a bit worried, oops no, it's mine, I need to mine it. I'm a bit worried about taking out too much off here because that could expose my base but I think that bit stuck down there is a bit of a pain in the neck so I think I need to just take that off and hopefully that won't expose the base too much. Nah, we've still got a bit of a curve call there. I think we could probably snip off that part a bit. Just press O to stabilise the... Just take that off as well. And I think maybe block-wise... Sorry, this isn't this isn't exactly the what I had planned for this part, guys. I'm going to be totally honest because uh, I think the blocks are actually up in here because I wasn't expecting a radiation storm I was expecting to go out and do some exploring and a bit of mining but I think what I'm going to do oh, looks like it's actually easing off but at the same time it's not um, kind of Let's have a look here. It's getting a bit dark, which is a bit unfortunate. I think what I'm inclined to do is that's actually damaged. Okay. Let's just have a look at this from a drone perspective. As I say, it's getting night now and the that patrol ship's still hanging around. I'm kind of something tells me I, I really I, no, I would like a bit more angle on it actually I think what I might be want to do is I don't think this actually serves any purpose so if I get rid of these blocks here so I can leave the angled blocks on each side actually so that I can walk up Oops, I've used up with some magazine. So what I'm just going to do is just take these off. Like that. I'll leave those two there. And what I'm going to do is... I think what we're going to do is put a, a line across like that. And... Oh, 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 patrol ship coming. Okay, this is where you build from underground, so what we do is go down here. And then you hit the drone and fly up with the drone, because the, the patrol ship doesn't seem to actually see the drone. Just want to have a look. So that kind of gives me a more solid front there. I think that will work guys and so it means when I bring the hovercraft in actually what I can do is put a, another line I think if we put another oops across like that I 
and it will mean that when I bring the hovercraft in I can run into this wall like this and then literally drop down so I've got a wall to run into and then I can drop down onto the base here like this and my tiny little poor little hovercraft I mean it probably needs a few more thrusters and stuff on the side of it as well because it's it, it's only got the one the one thruster on each side so it's not the the best of vehicles to do but I will be starting to work on the yeah if we got one thruster each side we could probably do with a couple more thrusters but to, I think to unlock the thrusters Okay, let's just have a look at the hover vehicle. Sorry, I'm getting distracted here, guys. I know it's my curse. Uh, we'd have to unlock the RCS, and I mean, I could actually do that. Unlock that, and unlock that, and then it means we could just come over here. Now, what am I doing? I've got to start. Keep thinking. I, I, uh, that's my large constructor access and where is it there we are it just took a little while to update oh it's probably their devices so if I make a couple of thrusters of course we have to put the blocks there I just have to clear that out and I think we need while that's going I think I'll put the the water in here and we'll make some more purified water so we can make some what's that that actually says that says it okay I think we'll make some med kits as well still building. I think I'll just put the thrusters on the ship first because I don't have any lights so you can see it's dark out here so it's going to be quite difficult for me to, to navigate there. I mean I could put some lights on the vehicles. That patrol ship is an absolute pain in the neck and that's no, no kidding guys. Okay so let's just thrusters and we should be able to if we put them on the side as I say this thing isn't going to look elegant so if I uh, disassemble we just put one there we should be able to if we rotate it come on Just sometimes you, you, it's easier to actually okay. that's better that should drop in there and what we can do is drop another thruster and we should be able to And what you should be able to do is if I come here and look at statistics, what it does is it gives you the statistics for your ship. So when you're building a ship, it tells you it gives you tells you how much side thrust you get and forward and backward thrust and up and down thrust. So this is one way that you can actually check that your ship is actually able and can work. So let's just have a quick look at the. I've only got 300 ammo back left, so we're gonna have to make some more ammo. But I'll do that off camera, guys, because those Gatling guns do go through a lot of ammunition. Actually, this stuff. Sorry for this flexion. Well, we could. Bam, we we got 88. So let's just get a couple of spotlights as well. 
Uh, I'm just being a bit impulsive here, guys. Let's make a couple of spotlights. Uh, they're, not, they're not actually taking up that much anyway, so... And I'm just going to shove them on the front. Again, nothing elegant. Maybe we can... Can we get one on each side? Yeah. And I think if we go to... Yeah, it says lights are on. Are they the right way around? Yeah, they look like they're the right way around. So maybe because I haven't powered the ship on, have I? <laughs> That's better. I mean, I could take it out for a. No, I'll, I'll do that like that. You see, you've got nice bright lights ahead now. But. What I will do, guys, in the next part, we will go out and do a bit more exploration with the hovercraft. It's It looks okay. We've got a bit more thrust to it. And I'm just going to power it off. I don't want to waste power. So we'll just power that off. And as I say, I'll make some more ammunition before I go out. And as I say, in the next part, we will go out and actually do some more resources and stuff like that. Let's just have a quick look around, see if there's any anybody around any hostiles that I can shoot for the fun of it and I'll just check where the patrol ship is it's still lurking over there I mean I'd love to go over and disassemble the building over there and get some resources from there but it's gonna make life a bit difficult so probably anyway but I think this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. I say any comments, questions, tips, uh, tell me where I'm going wrong. Because especially when it comes to construction of vehicles, I'm not the greatest expert on it. I'm still learning, which is part of the reason for this actual uh, series. But so this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.